that came off way too easily. They probably just didn't press it in, huh? No, they didn't press it in. So you see that little piece of film right there, just at the edge? Oh, look at that. Look at that. What's going on? What? Oh, come on, Harley. Harley, what are you doing? And then you guess you gotta get the adhesive to actually connect. There. There's three different chambers. You've got one place of engine oil. You got your primary transfer case, oil, and of course your transmission back here for oil. Well, there's one right there. You can see that one dripping. And there's another one that's right up under here where this is dripping. And then the third one is under the actual transfer case. It's right here where this one's dripping. So I'm just gonna put this back in and tighten it up. I'm gonna do that on all three. Your main engine oil, of course you know where that goes. It goes in right here. And then you gotta take that little plug out right there where my finger's pointing. So to get to that, you need a 3 8 like this because that thing's back there at an angle. So I have to get into it at an angle like so. I can just start to turn it loose and then because of the universal joint, I can get that out. So once it's loose, it just comes out real easy by hand. And then in case you haven't seen one of these before, this is what it looks like. A little plastic dipstick, that's all you get. So that's where I'll put in the transmission fluid. And then the primary case, we'll have a special funnel for that. T25 Torx, remove these five bolts. So now it's hanging there by this one, so I'm still secure. I'll loosen this up, keep my hand on the cover, and then finish this off with my fingers, keeping my hand on the cover until I have two hands available. Then I can safely remove the cover. And on the inside, this is just aluminum. There's no gasketing on this at all. That's your gasket. So we're gonna put oil into this cavity and we're gonna use a special funnel. You can get these funnels on Amazon. There's links in the description below to all the tools in case you don't have them. Amazon's a good place to get this kind of stuff from. And I'm just kind of feeling this uh, rubber gasket right now to see if it's, I mean, it's only been on there for a thousand miles, so there can't be anything wrong with it. And there's not, it's nice, it's good. So to put the oil in, you use this funny looking little guy right here. You squeeze these together like this. You drop it down in and then unflex it. And now you've got a spout to put your oil in. This is the primary fluid we're using today. The primary takes 36 ounces of fluid. One of these is only 32 ounces. So we're gonna have to put this whole thing in plus an extra four ounces. So you literally just pour it in the side and this funnel makes a really easy way to get the fluid in there. So one quart of primary fluid goes in and we'll add four more ounces. So we put in our first quart. Now we need to add four more ounces. So we opened up another V-twin primary fluid and we're gonna go and pour four ounces into this. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into here. Now we know we've got exactly 36, 32 plus four is 36 ounces. Manual calls for 36 ounces. So we're good, 36 ounces, primary case done. So you don't wanna drop your cover on the ground. It would be very bad. So what I do is I hold securely in one hand, put a screw through and then put my hand underneath, put this up here and then get that first screw started. Now there's no way it's gonna drop. Believe me, people drop these, they scratch them up, not good. Then I can put my other screws all loosely. The manual states that there's a pattern that you use when you tighten these. So basically what you're doing is going across from whichever bolt you started with. What I'll do is the first one, and say that's good, and then I'm gonna go across from that down here. Do that one's good. Then I'm gonna come across from that one to here. And then I'll go across from this one to here. And then across from this to here. And that's it. This is the patient. This is the operating room table. This is my surgical instrument. Cut. <laughs>
So we're going to fill the transmission next. So we got our transmission fluid that takes 28 ounces according to the book. So there's 32 ounces in here. We need to take out four ounces. So there's our four right there. Now we're going to take the rest of the fluid and we're going to insert it into the transmission. Take out your plug, put your long funnel in there, pour in everything from the jug. You know you got exactly 28 ounces. So there's 28 ounces. And you can check the level. On here you can see an F for full, and that's add. And like a figure eight in the middle. So I'm just gonna put this in here, tighten it down by hand. But when you feel it, it, it should just go with one finger. See how easy that goes? So we know we're not cross-threading anything. Never ever force the threads when you're putting plastic in the metal. You'll destroy the plastic in a heartbeat. Okay, that's in. Now I'm going to take it back out. And we're going to look at the level on it. And it's right up at the F. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Believe me though, it's in the right place. 28 ounces. So the last thing is to actually add the engine oil. We'll do that next. Yes, you can see all the information on here. Full at the top. Add a quart if it's down low. Check when it's screwed in on the jiffy stand. So that's the way you would actually check your oil is on the stand. Right now we're adding four quarts. So the fourth quart is in. Let's see where the fluid is on the dipstick indicator when we've only put four quarts in. So I've cleaned this off. We'll put it in and go all the way down and then take it out. And you can see that at four quarts, it's clear up here at the top of the L on full. But the bike is sitting upright. It's not leaned way over on the jiffy stand. So when we lean it over, that level's going to drop down, and so we're going to have to add a quart. So we'll add our fifth quart, and we'll be done. Got it? Yep. Okay, now we can pop this one. Get these out of there. So now that our four quarts is in there, we're going to start it up, let it run for uh, 10 seconds or so, make sure the oil is moved into the filter, and then we're going to check the level. And you see, it says add a quart. We know there's four quarts in there, so we need to add that fifth quart, and you'll see where this line comes to. And you see it's only halfway up. So I could probably add even more. See, it's the top of add right there. So there's five quarts in there now. We're not full hot though, so we'll check this again after we've ridden it a little bit. Should be hot now, so let's do one last check and see where we're at. Yeah, it's still halfway up, but that's in a safe zone. We know there's five quarts in there. Might need five and a half, but we'll leave that good for now and we'll call it a day. Mm -hmm.